Okay. I've got about five hours of use, meaning real use, actually shooting the Digibee. A professional studio strobe that Paul C. Buff came out with. And I wanted to show you something unique. I've got a lot of studio strobes, most of which are Paul C. Buff. Well, actually all of which, but one are Paul C. Buff, because they make the best studio strobes. Um, what about portability? Um, a lot of people, uh, and this of course is a necessity, uh, three days ago I did a shoot for a local small business and it was outside in front of their building uh, to be a banner page for their website. And uh, well, I could have brought a light stand with me, one of the nice uh, portable light stands. I wanted something quicker that I didn't need this actually set up and sandbag since I was going to be shooting four people. Uh, with a wide uh, telephoto lens in front of the building. What is something, and this, I don't know if this technically qualifies as a light mod, because you don't have to build anything, you don't have to construct anything, and I'm going to show you in video two how to put this together in 30 seconds, and this is something you can't do with any other studio strobe. Right now I have the Vagabond Power Pack behind me, which is also the Mini Vagabond, which is sold by Paul C. Buff. And right here, I have a Digibee. Now, I'm going to show you really quickly on setting this up. I'm not going to plug it into my power pack since you're going to get the idea. By the way, this is the Siri P326 carbon fiber monopod. I've made endless videos about this monopod and uh, the fact that uh, everybody should own one. It's only $97. Um, it's carbon fiber, it's a six section monopod. Now the reviews on it are spectacular on Amazon and other places where you can actually buy it. What I actually, I'll show you this in the second video. So if you want me to explain this, just take a look at the second video. Okay. Just loosening up the sections on my monopod, all of which you don't need to extend. Now, this Digibee DB400 weighs two and a half pounds. This monopod weighs less than one pound. The total weight combined, not including the battery pack obviously, which is slung over my shoulder right now, is two and a half pounds plus less than a pound on uh, the monopod. So we have three and a half pounds plus a half pound umbrella. We have here four pounds. I didn't actually extend this out all the way. <laughs> Plug my mini vagabond into the back of the Digibee. This weighs nothing. Do you see? <laughs> You can see how lightweight this is, two and a half pounds, less than a pound, and an umbrella. Now if you wanted to have an assistant hold this while wearing a battery pack, that's fine. What if I wanted to take a shot, and this always happens. You're looking constantly at the lighting in various angles. I don't care if you brought a light stand. Taking the weight off that light stand and moving it around, I have a lot of uh, people that tell me, well, when I'm out on a location shoot and I'm using a studio strobe where I need more power, I'm constantly moving around so I can change my composition, I'm adjusting angles for lighting. You know, I don't want to stake my light. I was actually showing an invention that I made where you're able to actually stake your light stand. Well, that's understandable, but what about something that's even quicker than that? Um, this is a lot quicker. This is a lot quicker. Do I need to hold this with one hand? Yes, I do. You can actually tie a strap to this and have it hanging off of your shoulder, but it's not going to be pointed in the right direction. So yeah, I'm going to have to have one hand on this. Let me see how difficult this is. It doesn't matter what camera I've got. I'm just going to pick up the camera that's laying on the table. Okay? Okay, so this is the lighting. Okay, click, click, click. Obviously, I don't have much headroom inside the house here. <laughs> click, click, click. I mean, do you see this? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> you can't do this with any other... Now, I've shown you how to do this 
with a, a speed light where it's completely collapsible and portable but with a studio strobe it's ludicrous but you can do it with the digibe but this requires no building of anything you don't have to build anything with this okay you don't have to construct anything with this and take a look at video number two and I'll show you how to do it I've got a couple of these Siri P326 monopods. They actually make a version of this. I think it's the 426. I forget the model number. That actually is a little bit taller than this. So this right here, just this, not including the mini Vagabond pack, obviously, which is hanging off my shoulder. This is less than three and a half pounds. Perfect doesn't require you to build anything. Check out video number two. I'll show you how to make this. You don't have to make anything, actually. I'll just show you how to assemble it very quickly if you have the Siri P326 uh, monopod, which is a carbon fiber monopod. So this is a brilliant idea. I've actually used this in a business shoot. I moved around. All I did was just lift up my monopod, walk over there. This is really difficult. This is really difficult. <laughs> I mean, it's not difficult at all. So, only with the Digibee, okay? Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later. Check out the next video. Bye.